in this election, I've been making the message clear to our members that Unite needs to be focusing on protecting our members in the workplace, on delivering them better pay and working conditions, and not messing around in the parliamentary bubble and being obsessed with Westminster politics. And no more so is that important than in Gibraltar, where obviously it has its own sovereign government arrangements, and that should be reflected in the way Unite organises and represents its members on, on the rock. Well, the rock, of course, getting the brunt of Brexit. What would be your message to Gibraltarians? My view on Brexit is that we have to face up to the decision that was taken last June. We need to plan for it. And that means getting ready for what is now going to be a hard Brexit. In terms of Gibraltar, there has to be special arrangements, in my view, to recognise the unique position of uh, the number of migrant workers that come to work on the rock on a daily basis. And that actually that has to be a priority for the union in pressing uh, for a solution that recognises the particular position of Gibraltar. And how do you feel about the fact that the local branch is supporting Len McCluskey? In terms of their support for the existing general secretary, that is a nomination. The message that I've been trying to get out is to our members who are the ones that make the decision in this election. They're the ones that vote. So actually my message has been working up and down the country and across the UK. So I would urge everybody to come out and vote, uh, give me their support and to do that as quickly as possible because uh, the polling uh, closes on the 19th of April. So it really does mean that people have got to vote now.